This looks like CDO 9. Yeah, this is the uh, cut version of the A340 uh, plate, the one that uses the J1, J2, or the J3 bell housings. And I'm actually going to go over a new option and a new feature that's actually been released a couple months now. We're getting a lot more questions, so I figure I'd do a quick video and tell you the feature aspect of it and the benefits. Now, what most people don't know is that the CDO 9s actually come in three different main input shaft bearings. You can get them in the standard 100 millimeter, which is gonna be the largest one, uh, my preferred favorite, but there's also gonna be a 90 and a 95 millimeter, depending on the year. Now, there's uh, what we've done in the past is I've always just given the customer the option to specify what bearing they're using, but that kind of limited your options in the future because especially with a lot of the drifters, when you're out there on the weekend, uh, nothing lasts forever, so eventually your transmission might fail. And the quickest, easiest way because of the cost effectiveness of a CDO9 is to just buy another one. Uh, but what happens in the case where you need a smaller bearing? All the plates by default are cut for the most common one, which is the 100 millimeter. So what I developed was a precision laser cut bearing shims or spacers because the standard bearing on all the plates are cut, like I said, for 100 millimeters. So the 100 millimeter bearings will pop right in. When you have the smaller bearings, like for instance, this is gonna be a 90, you can see the amount of play that you get. So what guys end up doing when they're not paying attention, they would install the plate on a smaller 95 or 90 millimeter bearing and their input shaft would be doing this all day. They would get a lot of noise. They would tear up the bearing itself from all of that uh, radial movement. And more importantly, they were prematurely damaging and destroying the pilot bushing adapters. And then they would blame the adapters, but really it came down to a lack of knowledge, lack of information. Uh, we tried to get it out to as many people, but a lot of times somebody just gives their install to a friend and that guy doesn't know. Yeah, he might be mechanically inclined, he'll get it done, but if you don't know this one critical difference, you're gonna damage your transmission. So in this case, we have the smaller, thinner ring, which will work on a 95. This is a 90 mil. So you're just gonna pop. You can see it pretty much. That's how accurate that laser cuts those. That now we've turned your 95 into 100. And that's it. Locked in, ready to go. Both of these rings are included with the kits. As long as you put them away, if you do have a 100 millimeter when you do your initial install, as long as you put these away, when you need a replacement transmission, the best part is you already have the solution if you end up with one of the smaller bearings and it allows you to take care of your, your transmission, get the most life and longevity out of it, control the wear on your pilot bushing, and all in all, it's a great feature. It's standard on all the kits. This is something recent. Uh, if you already had a, a kit for like the last couple years, feel free to contact us and you can actually purchase these if you need to change out to a reduced size bearing. Any of this information or more, just go ahead and contact us at autosportsengineering.com.